Hi, Mike Donahue here, owner of Progressive Rescue, here for Fire Engineering. I wanted to give an accompanying video to the article you just read on slope floor shoring. Now, there's subtle differences between the Type 2 and Type 3 slope floor shore. One, you can see right here, the uprights are perfectly straight, nice and plumb. The top is angled to meet the load. That bottom, okay, or sole plate, is flattened on the ground. Now, this Type 3, which is a Class 3 shore, if we're supporting a floor, that's doesn't have any horizontal force being pushed on it. All it is is vertical coming down, then this is what we want. Nice vertical plumb uprights to get our load from here straight down into the ground. And like all our shoring systems, we have cross bracing, which is for that torsional or twisting, twisting force, and we have, going back this way, you have your lateral to prevent the racking, okay? So now, for the second type we talked about, which would be a Type 2 Class 3, you'll notice the uprights are angled. You might look at this and say, what is that? They're not plumb. What, what's the deal here? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Here's our same slab or load we're supporting, right? Only this time, we have debris, and it's pushing horizontally. So now we have force coming down vertically and horizontally. So we need to adjust our uprights to meet that force head on. So you're getting the resistance horizontally, but you're also getting that resistance vertically. So the subtle differences that you're going to find are with a type 2 where you have the angled uprights, you're going to find cleats back here. Now if you think about it, the force is pushing back this way. So you need some kind of resistance here to prevent those uprights from wanting to come back or just tearing through the gusset place that we have on there. So one, perfectly straight, perfectly plumb for that load that's just pushing down vertically. The second type is angled. We have that horizontal force and that vertical force hitting that system. So we want to drive it down to the ground, follow point A to point B. It'll hit the sole plate. It'll want to kick this way, which is what our cleats are for to stop it. And on both of these systems, we're going to set a thrust block. So any force coming out this way is stop the thrust block and down into the ground. So like any other shoring system you build, the same principle goes. A to B. Double funnel. Take that load from point A to point B into the ground, and you're going to accomplish your goal. So I hope this helped you out if you're a little bit confused in the article or if you're new to things, hopefully this helped you out as well. So we'll catch you next month for a different article, a different video. Until then, stay safe, stay progressive, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to give me an email, progressiverescue at gmail.com.